Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to make more than one outline. For example, I just took some plain text, and I'm going to show you how to do different things. For example, we did a little 3D, and there's three outlines on this text. Same with this one, and this one had contour on it. This one has no fill, and I hope you find it useful. So let's get started. So I'm going to just basically hide these and I just took a background. It doesn't matter which background. I took, I just pulled it from stock photos. So I'm just going to start typing in some text. So I'm just going to drag to see what size I would want. And that looks like a good size. So I'm going to type affinity and let's bring it over here. And we got to give it a color, so we could start with any color we want. So maybe I'll pick um, a nice blue. I don't know. I guess I'm big on blues on these uh, tutorials because <laughs> it's not so harsh on the eyes when I'm doing this. So now we're going to duplicate that. We do Control or Command J. Now there's one right on top of the other. And on this one, we are going to give it an outline so you got to go to your character palette if you don't see your character palette you go to view studio character and that's what shows up here and here's all the things you can do there's a slider you can pull it out but I kinda like to keep all my palettes on the side out of my way so you click on this line the stroke here and you tell you decide how much of a stroke you want to have so and you can decide, by the way, in front or behind. I think I'm just going to go in front the way it is there. You pick the size. And I don't really want to pick that big of a size, but maybe in this case, 5.5. Yours might be different depending on what you're doing. And I'll choose a color for that. So I'm just going around the wheel. And I kind of went with this teal of some sort. So now that you have the one outline, you can go to that layer and do effects. And then you can pick outline again. And you can decide how big you want it. So if we went like that, now we have two outlines. And, that make, and you can also do it if you want. I'm going to show you different ways of doing it later. But let's just stay with the two outlines for now. So I'm going to close that. And yeah, so now that you have two outlines, what if you wanted three outlines? Well, the reason I put one below it is that if you take the first one and you say no fill right here, now you're showing through. Remember, there was one underneath, but there is no fill on this. So you're showing through to the outline. So now you have three outlines. So that's kind of pretty cool. So I'm going to first take these two and oh by the way we can also if we feel like the outline up here needs to be smaller or change the color we can do that one more thing when doing this you should always say scale without have scale with object checked so that when we shrink it it doesn't get really fat like the outlines don't stay fat and same here in the effects i wish that would be the default but down here on the bottom it says scale with outline so now that we were able to do the scale with outline, I'm going to control or command G. And so that's the first one. And I'm going to shrink it just a little bit like this, which means the lines scale with it, which is perfect. Now I'm going to control or command J. So now we have a second copy. So the second copy, we can now decide, well, let's do something a little different. Maybe we want, um, maybe we want, the outline to be not a solid color but a contour so when you have a contour you can pick your colors so I can pick I know this is going to be ugly as can be but I can pick some kind of color here and then I can go here and pick another color let's see like that no can't be that let's do somewhere like this <laughs> I 
and it's pretty bad. But I'm going to give you a close-up here just to see what, what we have here right now. So now I have one, two, three, that's four outlines. So now we just created four outlines. It's not pretty because we have to change colors. I get that. But we have four. So I'm going to duplicate that group again and move that one. And now let's see what we can do. I'm not really even sure at this point. I'm going to take the top one of that layer, go here, and maybe we want to do and a bevel and emboss. Well, bevel and emboss really won't do much. Well, actually it does. That that has well, you could do a bevel and emboss which gives you that 3D effect and I thought I think that's pretty cool. And if you don't want the bevel and emboss, you could turn that off. I left it on pillow, but you can also try other things and different and so your outline kind of comes out. Very cool and outer and inner and of course you can change the radiuses make them bigger smaller the soften so that's one, another way to do it so here we it looks almost like there's four outlines or you can look like it actually has a background and then maybe a neon you could change these to neon colors if you wanted to and then another thing you can do is let's take the bottom one and hide it and now it's see-through so again once again you can decide all of these you can go to this one and go changing colors so let's see what we want to do the outline where's my outer stroke let's not change let's do a solid color I kind of like that simple and clean the little black outline there and maybe you don't want black so if you want to get rid of the green let me close that you go up here where the where you did the original outline and change the color. Look at that. So it's a really simple tutorial. It it shows you how you can actually have three different outlines or four different outlines or see through, almost having a neon effect. You can add glows to this. I'm not here to do a neon effect right now, but you can. You can get some glowing going on. Maybe change that black to something else and an outer glow and that'll change everything also it'll be more like a neon so i hope you found this tutorial useful and if you did please click like and subscribe and have a great day